Hello, hello, and welcome to At Home with Lucas. So today we're gonna to be talking about E-Color 50 foot strip light. Yes, people, you've seen this before, but this one has a twist. It has Wi-Fi built into it, which means you can connect it to your Alexa devices that are all over your house, and you can do a full voice control of said light. So in this video, we're gonna be doing a hands-on with the box, quick unboxing and first impressions on said strip light. After that, I'm gonna be putting this to the At Home with Lucas test, so you don't have to waste your time buying and returning. I'm here for you. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, let's take a look at this bad boy. So up at the top, you have the E-Color Share Pleasure of Smart Lighting. That's what's up, people. This is a Wi-Fi LED strip lights. That is so cool. Compatible with Google Assistant's voice control. Ooh, I like that. And works with your Echoes. Very nice. There's a little image of what's to come in the box. This is a 50-foot model E0111. Take a look at the side over here. You get scene modes. That is awesome. DIY my colors. Yes, people, this has an app. Woo! I actually have the app and I have a couple of their products already. Take a look at the back right here. Pretty much useless information. You can dim it. Very nice. Syncs with music. So if you have enough of their e-color around your house and you have music playing, you can have an entire house where the lighting is a bumping people. 16 million colors. Woo! That is absolutely incredible all right let's crack this thing open and take a look at the strip okay so if you've ever seen one of these this is very very straightforward you have your power plug right here oh cool it comes with a little remote that is so cool wow that is packed full of a lot of options let's go ahead and take a closer look at this Pull that, get it started up. All right, wow, look at that. <laughs> I, I have not seen a remote this small with this amount of button pressing in such a long time. So you have your power, your play pause, your auto, your modes, your slow, wow, they really packed this full of everything. That is incredible. And of course, if you have the app, then you're only probably gonna be using the app and that remote may end up somewhere else user manual definitely want to go ahead and read through all of that that is so important and this is basically just the standard look that you find with all of these is you have this like little controller it probably has a sticky on the back yes it does and this is just so that if you have this on your desktop or you have it in your kitchen you can just get your quick access really fast Ooh, that also has a microphone so that's new i've never seen one with a microphone on it so it's it looks like you're going to be able to talk to this directly that's cool i like that a lot um because sometimes you don't have an echo in earshot wow okay yeah that is definitely 50 feet of leds that is incredible um all right coming up we're gonna stick this somewhere in my house stick it in air quotes <laughs> and uh power it up and we're gonna see how it how it uh how it lights up the house All right, let's go ahead and fire up the eColor Life app and take a closer look. So this is where you're gonna set up your device. If you click the top right corner, there's a plus right there. Then it should show you your device that's plugged in and ready to go. There it is, the strip light up at the top left corner. This app is very, very simple, very straightforward. Now you're gonna connect it to your 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, not your five or your six gigahertz. So make sure you know how to do that. If you don't, you can look on my channel. I show how to do that. Comment down below if you need to know how to do that. All right, so now you can set up your device's name. I always go with At Home with Lucas, A-H-W-L, but 50 feet perfect you can only do a couple characters so watch out for that <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and take a close look at what we can do with this you can go through all the colors 16 million that is um the scenes are a little bit uh, weak on this one i thought for sure it'd have more scenes i'm hoping they update that and give us a lot more i feel like um the table lamp that they have has probably three times as much as that so the scenes are not as as I would like them to be but nonetheless you get plenty of them 
All right, yes. So the microphone on this little device is to listen for the sound of music or you talking or anything like that, and it will actually make the LED strip light change uh, color and turn on and off color depending on what you set it here. So you could set it to automatic, you could set the speed, whatnot. It's really, really cool. This is how you activate music mode and this is how you customize music mode to your own liking. All right, let's take a look at their timer. So you can actually make a full schedule so your strip light will turn on and off whenever you want. So you can have it turn on in the morning, turn on at night, you can have it turn on and off throughout the day. So that's really, really cool. I wish they didn't have it in 24 hour time. I am a basic American and I do not fully understand army time or 24 hour time. So hopefully they'll adjust that in the future. Hey, what's up guys? I wanna talk about a sponsor that I have for this channel, Don Pablo Coffee. Yes, people, Don Pablo makes an amazing variety of coffee. I actually went down to Miami, Florida and modeled for his bourbon infused coffee. Yes, people, they have bourbon infused coffee. This is coffee for the people who don't even like to drink coffee. This is coffee for people who love to drink coffee but are bored of the normal coffees. They have single serve bourbon infused coffee. They have whole bean bourbon infused coffee, not to mention all the other varieties they have. They are a small batch coffee roaster. Now you're probably thinking, what does that mean? What does it mean? I'm going to tell you a small batch means you're going to get a fresher bean. Yes, people, everything they roast is roasted smaller, which means you're getting a fresher batch. All the other companies roast in ginormous roasting contraptions, and that means you're getting it less of a fresh batch. So click the link down below, go buy some amazing coffee, and let's get back to the video. <laughs> okay, so this is the plan. I'm gonna plug this into the corner down there, and then I'm gonna run it up the wall all the way around this small little room hopefully getting the whole entire box <laughs> covered. This is a, uh, what is it, a 10 by 12 room. So this is 50 feet. I'll probably have to snip some off right there at some point. And I'm hoping that it's an easy stick and I'm hoping it's a very strong sticky. Um, and that way I can put it up really, really easily. All right, let's get this installed. Okay, so the install process is going really, really nicely. It's actually very easy to install. And the thing that I like the most is that this is literally paper thin. It is unbelievable. So what that means is there's no weight pulling down on the sticky. So literally you have like enough sticky on these strips to hold up like, I would say a full size light bulb every few feet. So. The fact that this sticky is holding up just an LED, so much, so much sticky, so nice. Um, and one thing I'm finding is that you need to pull large amounts and make a straight line and, and hold it at one point and then pull it tight and then sticky it at the other point and then go back as you're going. So it's actually way easier than I would have thought to install and I'm already very happy with what I've got set up. Um, the light will come up from behind the monitor, so you won't be able to see the cable down there when you're sitting or doing anything at the desk. So I think this is gonna be really, really cool. Okay, wow, did this come out perfect. I ended up right back where I started over here, and I have a cut line right chair which means i'll have an led here and an led right there which should be the same distance on the strip if you can see the leds are about two inches apart so that should look perfectly lit um, once again this was such an easy process absolutely amazing totally blown away it's like <laughs> if you've ever put masking tape up it's easier than that because you don't have to worry about making a perfectly straight line because when these LEDs turn on, they just light up everything above and below. So you're not gonna have to worry about it being a perfectly straight line. I think I went a little bit lower on that side, on this wall here. 
Also, I'm finding out my ceiling is not exactly uh, straight across uh, in terms of how much thickness there is of the ceiling versus down here. Um, and I definitely will be going back probably tomorrow and pushing all this down once more just to make sure it is very solid. Also, I highly, highly recommend you get a duster like this and run it along the ceiling and the wall. That way you guarantee that you're dusting and making it nice and um, dust free so these things can stick directly to the wall. So I'm gonna give that a snip right there and then come back. All right, there we go. I gave it the snip right there and it looks really, really solid on that end. I'm hoping that it completely works like it should. Okay, so after getting these things installed, I'm now realizing why people put them to where you don't actually see the individual LEDs, you just see what they produce. They tuck them behind a dresser, it lights up the wall behind it and makes it look really cool. These are a little bit uh, difficult to look at, so you're actually looking directly at a very bright LED. Of course, I won't know until I get into the nighttime to be able to see them uh, more uh, brightly or whatnot. Um, so yeah, definitely interesting. I almost wish they came with a little plastic strip, a little cover that would go over the LEDs to make it look a little bit more like this lamp right here. Just wait till it focuses real quick. There we go. I wish it looked a little bit more like that and a lot less like that. So definitely uh, looks nice and uh, whatnot, but definitely um, it's very obvious that there are just LEDs all over my ceiling now. So we'll wait until the nighttime, come back, take a look, and then give our final thoughts. Okay, so the setup process with this device is a little bit different than say a smart bulb. You have to actually sign in to the eColor Life app. So you gotta go into your Alexa app. You then click on more in the bottom right corner, and then you're gonna see skills and games. You're gonna to wanna to click on that. Once you click on that in the top right, you're gonna see that magnifier. You're gonna click on that, and then that's gonna give you a search bar. You type in eColor Life and then you're gonna click on the first one that appears right there. There it is at the top right there, you see their logo. And then you're gonna click enable to use. Well, first you're gonna go down and give it five stars because no one has given it five stars. Give them a boost, people. Write something nice, <laughs> something very simple and throw it in because five stars is what matters, people. Woo! All right, so then you're gonna click Enable to Use. Once you do this, you're gonna sign into your eColor Life profile. Very simple. After that, you are done. Now when you go to use your device, it's going to work like normal because you did this step. Alexa, office LED off. Alexa, office LED on. Alexa, office LED 10%. Alexa, office LED orange. Alexa, office LED green. So, Alexa, set office LED to 10 minute sleep timer. Okay, I'll turn off office LED in 10 minutes. Alexa, office LED off. All right, so this is what it looks like when it's almost dark outside. Very, very cool. It's much brighter than I would have thought. They, the LEDs light up the entire wall, almost to the, to the floor. Absolutely amazing. Um, still wish that I could cover up the LEDs with a frosted plastic strip of some sort. So I am gonna look into that. And if I find something cool, I may make a new video showing how to cover these up so that when you look at them, they don't look so harsh. Um, like I said earlier, uh, these need to be 
kind of tucked away and hidden. It would be really cool if I had some crown molding up there to hide them. That would be so cool. Um, but that's not something I'm going to be adding to this rental. All right, so let's go ahead and take a quick look at the remote itself. So this remote, like I said earlier, is completely packed full of so, so many features. You can, of course, turn everything off and then turn it back on. And then you have all of your different uh, modes right here. So you can go through all the different modes and change them. Oh, that's really cool. That <laughs> Wow, that color completely lights up this entire room. Whoa, that is very, very cool. Wow, <laughs> that is bananas, people. Okay, yeah, so you have all of these here. You can change the brightness of them. Wow, that is so cool. Yeah, if the LED itself wasn't so harsh to look at, this would be very, very cool. Um, but yeah, the remote definitely does its job. Yeah, so all in all, I'm gonna give these things a solid 4.8 star rating. I'm gonna say that the install was so, so nice. Um, the functionality of them is perfect. The way that they connect to your Echo is so awesome. And I love the fact I can control them with my voice. And the colors are very, very saturated, as you can see here. Very true colors, exactly what you'd want. So all in all, I'm gonna say that I'm well impressed and definitely buy this as a gift for your family members, for your friends. It is a cool thing to, for kids to do. Very, very easy to install. No uh, skills really needed. Just stick it on and go. All right, there you go. That's the e-color Wi-Fi strip light. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely click and clack that like button. And if you want to join the Ad Humble Lucas family and you want to be a part of this crew, hit that subscribe button. Every time I get a subscriber, I get a boost to make more and more videos. And it's because of you guys, I surpassed 2K. Yes, people, on my way to 3K, but I need your help. Yes, you right there. Tell your friends, tell your family, this guy's on YouTube. They should go subscribe and watch my channel. But as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.